Hey everybody, it's time to finish the setup on the ring gap for this 5.3 that we're doing on the twin turbo Mustang. Uh, I've, got, I've got one left, I've done seven of the eight cylinders. I figured you guys could come along with me on number eight. I'll show you guys my process. It's, I'm not saying it's the right way. Uh, I'm not saying it's the best way. It's just how I do it. There's no rocket science here. I put the ring in the, the cylinder. I use a, a piston with no rings on it to try to square the ring and the bore. There's two flat spots on the piston right here by the rift pin. So I run those down until they're flush with the block. And then I turn it 90 degrees and I do it again. So that way I know the, the ring is reasonably square in the bore. This is the second ring. It's a cast iron ring. This is the gap that I measure over here. On the second ring, I'm shooting for a pretty big gap, about 30 thousandths. I've already done seven of these, so I already know about what that is. You're probably looking at 15 to 19 right there. But you take these feeler gauges. This one is 16 thousandths. I'll stick it down in there. So it fits in there. Go to an 18. My 18 is really tight. So I've got about 18 thousands of clearance right there. So I'm looking for 30. So to open that up, I got a rig set up over here on the bench. All this is, is a die grinder with a three inch cutoff wheel clamped in the vise. I've got a zip tie that holds the trigger down. So I'm gonna put air to it. And it's a adjustable speed on the grinder. I've got it set down pretty low. And then I take the ring and I just squeeze it on the disc and slide it off as it's running. All right, we'll go check that one. We'll go measure it again now. So that's how I set the gap on the rings. I uh, set the second ring at 30 and the top ring at 25. So I think I mentioned in another video, that's pretty, pretty big for a street motor. So we'll see how it pans out.